Hi everyone, my name is Yuko Zhang. Our paper reviews the potential for adopting uncertainty decision making theory to software engineering automation. We try to model and then reduce the uncertainty in fault localization by importing the fuzzy theory in operation research. First, let's take a look at the reason why people create the uncertainty decision making rule. The input data we assume in ideal condition can be quite different from the raw data we can acquire in real life. The real life data always suffer from ambiguity or lack of enough information. We can call them partial information. So in the left figure, we cannot tell the distribution of the two kinds of values because they are mixed up. And in the right figure, detectors can tell what is on the photo but it is usually unable to assign a precise prediction or sometimes they even give us an unrecognizable probability. All these uncertain data will make the problem we would like to solve more challenging. So how can we deal with this unknown situation? Luckily, the evidence theory brings us an uncertainty measurement and reduces the password information by fusing data from multi-sources. In this way, it imposes a set with more than one element to represent the hard-to-define situation. We set the unknown condition with a universe set that contains all elements, like the set cross and mirror. Then we can import another detector and both of them give a prediction with the unrecognizable target like one sensor prefers a house rather than a meal, and another holds quite the opposite opinion. The contradicted and unknown situation lead to a hard decision. Finally, we use the fusion rule in evidence theory to compromise all information sources, and then we get the final result. There is a man and horse in the photo. Apart from the evidence theory, other theories in uncertainty decision making have been widely used. For example, fuzzy theory. The fuzzy theory aims to assign an element soft membership to a set, which is different from the traditional set or called the crisp set. Like in the left example, the borderline between code and hot is 70. In traditional probability theory, 70 neither belong to code or hot. Obviously, it is an imprecise division because it seems arbitrary to say 70 degree is absolutely cold or hot. However, the fuzzy set provides a gradual membership, which means that we can see 70 can be known to cold and hot at the same time in fuzzy logic, with 50% membership to each one. In another example, if we change 70 to 60, the membership of code is 0.6 while membership of hot is 0.4. Actually, many theories had been proposed to deal with uncertainty and they all measure uncertainty in different ways. The first three were fuzzy theory, evidence theory, and rough set theory are always included in fuzzy system. Like the example mentioned before, the fault localization also has to deal with uncertainty. The prevalent fault localization method, called spectrum-based fault localization, has equations to calculate the suspicion of whether a statement contains a bug. They rank them based on the evaluation and select the strictest statement. However, many formulas have been proposed so it is hard to choose which one we should use for a project. We list three spectrum-based fault localization formulas, OJI, Ample, and Tarantula. While each formula has its advantage, can we just combine them and try to make the final result close to the best performance one? In this way, it comes to the uncertain decision-making theory. Various formulas in fault localization are similar to decision makers, the DM, because each one provides a new perspective on the question. We can compromise our opinion from every DM to get the final result. 
different spectrum-based focalization formulas have their advantages in specific projects. We demonstrated to widely used formulas in data set defect forgery and compare their performances on some code snippets. The number we show in the table is the percentage of code that should be inspected to find the bug in the ranking sequence according to their suspicions. So the smaller ones stand for better results and they have been marked in red. The table tells us even though some techniques may not perform best in the whole dataset, like AMPO, it outperforms the overall state of art methods OJIE, Math 40, and Math 23. They can still let us inspect a few lines in some snippets. The phenomenon inspires us to consider a combination of spectrum based focalization formulas. So, after sending the different equations as multi information sources, the difficulty is how to model the uncertainty. We try to use evidence theory and assign the membership to a buggy set with a normalized suspicion score. So normalization has been done first because the range of evaluation generated by different methods vary a lot. Each test can be treated as a guess for whether the bug exists in an element. The so uncertainty in this problem can be measured as an unknown set, which is y minus membership of set buggy. Finally, the combination results tell us the membership of the buggy set for every statement. We can treat them as new suspicious score. This is a simple fusion case from defense for j code snippets in our paper. Three formulas OJI, AMPO, and Zota are included in a fuzzy fusion process. The column fuzzy shows the final suspicious score and a ranking for each line using the proposed approach, which fuses the column from 3 to 5. The example score displays the overall performance of all the photorealization approaches. The proposed fusion approach achieves a better exam score, and it indicates better hit accuracy. Besides, other branches like fuzzy linguistics that can help us quantify the weakness of expression in human study. Survey participants often give an answer like good or not bad to show their feelings. In the left figure, the traditional set consists of all productive people are same. However, this inaccurate degree brings us trouble when we analyze this data. In this way, the linguist set can measure the overlap meaning of language and it can assign each expression a wide range distribution instead of a point. The systematic fuzzy linguistic can deal with the complex situation as has been applied to psychology and social science. However, there are still challenges remaining applying fuzzy theory in software engineering, like how we model uncertainty of the task itself for localization. For computational resources, even though the combination rule doesn't take a long time, we still need information from more than one source. The so evaluation in uncertain decision making has two approaches golden standard and expert decision. For the golden rule, a labeled correct decision can be used to prove the accuracy of the model. Also, in management science, the evaluation from expert can play an important role we need to verify the result. In summary, we present using uncertain decision making tools to solve problems with software engineering. We introduce the classical uncertain decision making theory like evidence theory and fuzzy set theory, then show the improvement after importing evidence theory in for the localization. We hope this will bring insights of adopting uncertainty decision making in software engineering.